The plank is one of the most effective full body exercises that focuses primarily on the core. It may seem deceptively simple, but holding the plank position for just one minute each day can strengthen muscles, improve posture, increase flexibility, and help with overall fitness. In this video, we'll explore whether planks can be done daily, the specific muscles engaged, and the various benefits of daily planking, as well as proper plank technique. So, let's get started. First of all, can you do plank every day? Yes, planks are safe to do every day as long as you maintain proper form and listen to your body. Planks are an isometric exercise, which means they engage muscles without putting strain on the joints through movement. Unlike dynamic exercises such as running or weightlifting, which can lead to muscle fatigue and require recovery time, planks use static muscle engagement. Therefore, they are less likely to cause injury from overuse. However, it's important to ensure proper form to prevent strain on the neck, shoulders, and lower back. Pay attention to your body and rest if you feel muscle fatigue or discomfort. Gradually increase the time you hold the plank if you're seeking a greater challenge, but start small and build endurance over time. The plank is a full body exercise, though it focuses heavily on the core. Plank targets these muscle groups. First, core muscles. Planks engage the rectus abdominis, the six pack muscles, transverse abdominis, the deepest layer of abdominal muscles, and obliques, muscles on the sides of your core. These muscles work together to keep your body stable and protect your spine. Second, shoulders and upper body. Your shoulders, triceps, and pectoral muscles are activated as they support your upper body in the plank position. The shoulder muscles, deltoids, are engaged to stabilize the upper body and the triceps help keep the arms locked in position. Third, back muscles. Planks target the erector spina, muscles along your spine, and the rhomboids, helping to stabilize and protect your spine. By strengthening these muscles, you support the core and contribute to overall back health. Fourth, lower body. Planks engage the quadriceps, front thigh muscles, and gluteal muscles. This activation helps keep the lower body in alignment and supports a neutral spine position. In summary, planks target almost every major muscle group in the body, making them a highly efficient exercise. The primary benefit of planks is core strengthening. A strong core supports almost every movement you make, from walking to lifting heavy objects, as it stabilizes your torso. When you consistently do planks, the muscles in your midsection become more toned and firmer. This improvement in core strength translates to better balance, stability, and performance in other exercises. Over time, daily planks help define the abdominal muscles, giving your body a more sculpted and lean appearance. Besides enhancing the core, planks contribute to overall muscle tone by engaging the upper body, legs, and glutes. As the muscles become stronger, you'll notice a general tightening and toning of your physique. Although planks are not classified as a cardio exercise, it still stimulate the metabolism by increasing muscle mass. Muscle burns more calories than fat, even at rest. Therefore, by regularly engaging multiple muscle groups through planks, your metabolic rate increases slightly, which helps your body burn more calories throughout the day. A one-minute plank routine, especially when combined with a balanced diet and other forms of exercise, can support weight loss or weight maintenance efforts. Additionally, the energy required to hold a plank for an extended time causes the heart rate to increase slightly, further contributing to metabolic improvements. Over time, as you build muscle through regular planking, your body becomes more efficient at burning calories. Planks are excellent for improving balance and coordination because they require you to engage your core muscles to maintain a stable posture. As you hold the position, your body works to prevent wobbling or sagging, which improves your proprioception, your sense of where your body is in space. Advanced plank variations, such as the side plank or single leg plank, challenge your balance even further, helping to improve coordination this enhancement in balance can carry over into other physical activities, such as running, yoga, or sports, and can reduce the risk of falling or injury. Lower back pain is often caused by weak core muscles, which force the lumbar region to overcompensate during movement. Strengthening the core through planking reduces the strain on your lower back, helping to alleviate or prevent lower back pain. Since planks also engage the muscles around the spine, 
they help support proper spinal alignment. Planks are often recommended in physical therapy for people who suffer from lower back pain as they are low impact and can be done without equipment. When performed with the correct technique, planks can strengthen the muscles that stabilize the lower back, leading to reduced pain and better overall back health. Good posture is crucial for preventing musculoskeletal problems, such as back and neck pain. Daily planking strengthens the muscles responsible for maintaining proper posture, including the core, shoulders, and back. As these muscles become stronger, your body naturally adopts a more upright position with less effort. This improved alignment reduces the strain on the spine and joints, particularly when sitting or standing for long periods. Better posture also improves breathing and circulation by keeping the chest open and allowing the diaphragm to function more efficiently. Over time, your posture will become more naturally aligned, reducing slouching and enhancing your overall appearance. Although the plank is not typically thought of as a flexibility exercise, it helps improve flexibility, especially in the posterior chain, the muscles along the back of your body. Holding the plank position stretches and lengthens the hamstrings, arches of the feet and shoulder muscles. As your muscles adapt to this stretch over time, you'll experience a better range of motion and decreased stiffness in these areas. Increasing flexibility is essential for preventing injury during physical activities, improving athletic performance, and maintaining mobility as you age. While the plank is not an aerobic exercise, it can still contribute to lowering high blood pressure by promoting circulation and strengthening the cardiovascular system. As an exercise that engages multiple muscle groups, planks help improve blood flow throughout the body. Regular physical activity, including strength-based exercises like planks, is associated with better heart health and can help reduce hypertension. Moreover, the stress-relieving effects of regular exercise, including planks, can indirectly lower blood pressure. Planking engages deep breathing, which helps reduce stress hormones that can contribute to high blood pressure. Proper technique is essential when doing planks to avoid injury and maximize the benefits. Here's a step-by-step -step guide for performing a plank correctly. Begin by lying face down, then rise up onto your forearms and toes. Your elbows should be directly under your shoulders, with your arms parallel to each other. Keep your body in a straight line from your head to your heels. Avoid arching your back or allowing your hips to sag. Keep your neck in a neutral position by looking at the floor just ahead of your hands. Your head should be in line with your spine to avoid straining your neck. Pull your belly button toward your spine to engage your abdominal muscles and prevent your lower back from sagging. Your core should feel tight and solid. Ensure that your glutes and legs are also engaged. Avoid letting your hips drop or rise too high. Focus on controlled, deep breathing. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth while holding the plank. This helps maintain focus and ensures your muscles are receiving adequate oxygen. Avoid holding your breath as this can increase intra-abdominal pressure and affect blood flow. Start by holding the plank for 20 to 30 seconds, gradually increasing the duration as you build strength and endurance. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more fitness content. See you soon!